Uh, and no. Request for her to do it. Shit. Wait, yes. who is who is this brother in the corner not moving? That's Caleb as well. That, that's me. It's just the, the thing I used to record. Yeah, he's the star of the show, so he gets two two squares. Yeah. I don't feel like it works that way, but okay. Welcome to another episode of Life on the Inside. I'm Doey Noe. And I'm Tex. Today, it's gonna, it's, it's a two-parter. It's a, we each are, are doing our own episode, kind of. Uh, this one's gonna be mostly me. We're, we're talking about kind of the pros and cons of going to college versus not going to college. Um, Noah and I are from two very different backgrounds. We ended up in the same place, so we thought this might be a, a good time to, to kind of share our experiences of, of the differences. Of our walks, yes, sir. Um, big shout out to uh, Matt H. out there. Um, can't wait to get on the, the links with you. I hope you have your own clubs. I only have enough to share with myself and Caleb. Uh, he, he doesn't. He, he doesn't have his own clubs, and I don't have my own clubs. Um, none of us have our own clubs. We not to mention this dude's like six six. I feel like he's gonna need some extra large clubs. Yeah, man. He's 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 tall. Um, but hey, congratulations uh, for, for for you know sharing the love with us and uh, getting through that random drawing. It was quite random. Um, but yeah, you know, just uh, thank you, thank you, shout yeah, out to Matt. We appreciate you, and appreciate to you. other people, we appreciate. Shout out to that guy in France. I, I can't remember what is like Chiclith. Chiclith. I butchered that France, but he's listened to the podcast. That one guy in France. We see where all of you are and shout out to you, guy. Reach out. I want to know who you are. Please. Um, but we, we care about our U.S. citizens as well, you know, but it is cool to see us globally reaching people with our wonderful stories. Yeah. And, you know, just reach out. We want to know. We want to hear your stories. We'll talk talk about them at the end of the episodes. You just got to send them to us. We want to know. We want to shout out. We if, ask us questions. I don't Please. know. Please, anything doesn't matter. I don't care. Coffee, don't, coffee, good. Let me know coffee, you, good like. for brain. Help speak in morning. I can't speak in general. Like I can't. Still, <laughs> it's getting worse. I am <laughs> regressing. I can't English at all. So. It's okay. We're moving. We're moving on to the uh, to the side of life where we're about to just learn how to talk all again. We're gonna have to, dude. I know. Necessary. So yesterday was Cinco. I told you this, but I feel like I need to tell everybody this. We went to go pick up margaritas from a, a, a Mexican restaurant down the street from uh, where we were, and there was like fifty people in the lobby. Grant, we walk in. It says eight people allowed inside. There was more than eight people, another 30 people <laughs> on the patio. And then a little bit farther is Taco Bell. 30 cars in the drive-thru at Taco Bell. Ridiculous. Yeah. Yep. So Cinco de Mayo, what is, what is the 5th of May? No idea. I'm pretty sure Courtney did a little, uh, little history bio for me. And it's not even like – I'm pretty sure Mexico got their independence of like in September or yeah, some shit. So September. anybody who – I feel like it was. I don't want to look it up. I'm a battle really trying to that read. they won. I can't remember. I can't like that. I think I guess it was a it's. Yeah. Oh yeah. Anywho, according, my wife was like, "I wonder if they celebrate the Fourth of July." And I was like, "Well, yeah. It's it's an occasion to drink beer and blow shit up. Of course, right. they, exactly. Of course, they do. Uh, Star Wars Day, May Fourth. I like how there's they're right next to each other. May Fourth. I watched the uh, the ending of Clone Wars. That was a banger. Um, yeah. So banger. Banger. banger, 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 banger. Yeah, you said this May the Fourth be with you. That was cool. Yeah. Yoda, Baby Yoda. I love Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. Baby Yoda. What up, Baby Yoda? Baby Yoda. Check check. T T. Doing his thing. All right, Cuddy. I hear you. I hear you, Cuddy. That's actually not Cuddy. That's that's a toy. Oh, that's and a toy. My wife is mimicking the toy. Oh. So I apologize for the distractions. No, but you be quiet down there. Okay. Yeah. I got her. We're I'll gonna, discipline her later. That's everyone. fair. We need to bring that eighteen energy month up. old is going to get the biggest ass whooping of her life. We need to bring the energy up. We have we're very mellow today. I feel we're very mellow. <laughs> very mellow. Very mellow. I don't I don't understand why. Try the hang around, bro. Fair. All right. Well, let's let's hop into this. So obviously, I'm part one. 
of the side of not going to college. I originally called this episode No School, No Problem. Then I realized like no one went to college. We can do like a little back and forth here um, and kind of talk about what we went through. So starting out, I got thrown into management by accident. I didn't really have any employees under me, but I was the production manager. I think Jesse was just being nice and gave me a nice title. But um, so I I did that, did all the stages. And then my first employee that worked under me, I'm just getting right into it. Uh, (laughs) I, he was the, so sound guys, we're we're a tight knit community. The sound guy from the big venue down the street, his son, his dad didn't want him working for him. So he's like, you know, go go work for Caleb. I'm like, all right, cool. Yeah, I'll I'll take your kid. And he's a smart kid. He, he, he likes dubstep EDM, real weird. I think he's been like every single like niche you could be. He's been like a punker, a hardcore dude, an Abercrombie Fitch guy. Like he, he's he's been all all the things. Like huh. he's what he's a very eclectic child. I mean, nice. He's a grown man now, but <laughs> he's a grown man. But I remember like I was I was teaching him how to use all the all the um, the systems. And we, at this point we had the, the two or three venues and like, I taught him everything I thought I could. And he just wasn't putting in the time. And, you know, like me, I'm like, I just want you to care. I want you to put in the time. Right. I want you to care. I want you to do your job. And one day he asked me, he's like, I don't understand how to do it. I'm like, bro, you I, like, I just went off on him. And I said like, dude, you've been, you've got more hours on this lighting system than me. I've taught you all the basics. You just have to apply it, right? And right. I just, I'm just like reading him like way more words, cussing like, why haven't you figured <laughs> this out yet? Um, not not great of me. I mean, I'm like 20, 21. I'm I'm young, right? So this and, is your first really yeah. This is like job on managing or leading right. some yes. Um, and Jesse's like, dude, I, I heard you like you went off on on Phoenix. Like, why? I'm like, he just doesn't get it. He's like, whoa, just calm down. Like, I'm like, all right, yeah, I probably shouldn't have. But on the other side, it clicked for him. He understood that I wanted him to just put in some time. Like, I've taught you how to do it. Now apply what you've learned. And and that's kind of the first time I realized, like, yes, like I probably shouldn't have gone off on him, but it worked. It so, worked, and you can learn from that too. You know, right. from like how you like maybe you self thought you're like, oh, you maybe I was a dick, but obviously it clicked with him, and it, it got him his ass in gear. It did. For- so, like, yes, was it the most professional? No, but like, think back, I'm like, yeah, that was not exactly the best thing I could have done, but it worked, and and that's kind of my start of okay, well people are different. Jesse wants me to do it this way. This worked for him. How do I find that happy medium? And that's kind of what I've been doing ever since is that, that balancing between being a dick and just wanting you to do your job. I think, um, I don't remember what episode it was. You're talking about like, you know, you get that, that 30 days, that month of me being an asshole because you know, I'm just trying to expect a, B and C. So at the end you get those, you get those expectations. Right. So that's, that's how I, I learned to, to, to kind of lead set my expectations. And I started with that and I had a few other guys after that and everyone was different. So we had like this one guy, he, he came in, he was, he was a stud. He, he knew exactly what he was doing and I never really had to manage him. I'm like, Hey, I just, will you run the show? I want it done like this, do some lights, set up like that. I, I just had to tell him once he's like, Oh yeah, I got you. And then he would do it. Um, some guys that were better with the sound some guys are better lights. And at that point, it's like, I kind of realized, okay, everyone's different. Yes. I have to be a little bit harder on, on, on this guy because well, he's, he's newer at it. These guys are vets. I just have to tell them once. And as long as like everything's happy, like we're, we're working, we're cohesive. And that's kind of when I figured out how, how to lead. Um, just, I would like to ask. Yes. Back up just there. So did you ever, did you try the school thing? Did we do we even embark down oh, that yeah. journey at all, or oh, were yeah, we I just did. right into the S- skip that it completely? Um, no, yeah, I went to. I've had three semesters at college. Three, one, two, three. Where'd you um, go? Uh, Central Methodist University. It was a private private mm-hmm. school. I went to the Conservatory of Music because I wanted to be a band director. Okay, that's that fitting. Didn't happen. It didn't happen. <laughs> um, two things. I actually ended up working in a school. 
And I found out that the, the politics, the, the, the bureaucratic shenanigans of it all, it just wasn't for me. It really wasn't. Um, I wanted to go in. I wanted to teach people how to do stuff and, and do it well because, I mean, I was working. I did that at the same time as the clubs and going to school. And then, like, it wasn't for me. And then I, I couldn't afford to pay for it anymore. So they kicked me out. I was like, all right. I was say it's probably pretty pretty expensive yeah a private prep college oh a lot of money to that <laughs> still paying that off uh, I no i guess i got no degree to learn i didn't want to go to college so even then when i was in it like i was trying like i was going to teaching i did my student teaching and to me it was a joke i didn't i didn't really learn anything like yeah i learned that how to make a lesson plan but like i didn't learn how to deal with someone not doing what I want them to do. I didn't learn how to deal with right. disciplinary actions. I didn't learn how to deal with right. an old lady pooping on the floor, which has happened a few times. It's weird. While in high school? Well, not in high school, like while working. I've people, oh. old ladies have pooped on the floor. Actually, I think I remember it, that. every job I've been at, uh, an old lady has pooped on the floor. Well, I used to, I, in my, my place, have been, I've been a part of that. Yeah, I know. It, it happens. They don't. They should really teach you how to deal with it in school. Yeah, no. um, along with other things. Um, but you know, it's a lot of on-the-job training, like actually having that experience of dealing with it. Like this situation is put in front of me. I'm going to make a decision. It's going to be right. It's going to be wrong or gray, either one. And I'll learn from it from real life scenarios. And I feel like that's something that I was missing in those in all of school is that that real life. How do I deal with this? Which I think a lot, I mean, I've gotten in the same, I guess, same predicament rather. I mean, I was going into a degree that I was sitting there daily just looking at what was about to like be my future. And I was like, this is whack. Right. I was like, this is, this gives me very little fulfillment. And I was just, so I, that's whenever I, I ducked out, but uh, for another, another episode. Yeah, but yeah, I definitely hear you. It definitely, opens your eyes and and then going out and doing it i'm like why did i why did i need to take more math why do you take more science why did i need to take all these extra things that are deemed necessary like i use addition subtraction multiplication on the regular percentages yeah but like trig why did why did i need to learn trig like i i I should know that it's there I, i feel like i should know these things are here i think the only thing i needed to learn was history because well history it's mankind it happened we should learn from our mistakes real life scenarios you know right um but yeah i feel like i was missing something and then doing it even at um when i was at addison's um the the the, the chef the, the the managers there like a couple of them went to culinary school and like yeah i learned more just working than i ever did in culinary school like how to do an order how to do set pars how to actually run a business as opposed to just making fancy food because right. how often are you actually making this fancy food? No, you're making someone else's menu half the time. Exactly. So, and that's kind of what I, I, I got out of that was, okay, well, I don't, I don't really need this to do what I want to do, build a career for myself. I didn't know what I wanted that career to be, but just going out and doing it, you know, just learning from people that have been doing it. Um, whether that be be Jesse, uh, Cody at Addison's, Lou, Lou Louie from Addison's, um, just those guys kind of brought me up. Like, yeah, like uh, you know that 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 shark thing I talked about that came from that came from Lou or Louie um, at, at Addison's. He was my my first real. What boss. is Addison's? Uh, it is a restaurant in Columbia. It's like the second most popular. Super busy, super good food. They've got these dope nachos. Oh, I love it. Love their is that good pub grub. Oh. Super good. It's it's like Mediterranean American. Mm. Oh, so good. So Interesting. Good. So so like throughout the years, I've I've picked up these these things from all my mentors th- throughout the way, and just being a boss like Cody, he kind of showed me how I can like be friends with my employees while still being their boss. It's that that playtime game time kind of deal. It's that mentality of, you know, we're, we're going to play hard. We're going we're gonna to hang out. I used to play magic with him, go over to his house. Um, and then, but when I was at work, I knew like, hey, we're at work. You're my boss. I understand. So it's like, we, it, was, it was nice camaraderie. So the, the, those little guys all taught me kind of how to, how to lead and be a leader and kind of set me up. And then managing 
technically, or technically, I don't know, the technical aspect of it all came from Culver's. Uh, they had a huge um, training program, super good, and just kind of taught me how to how to manage the people, how to manage the numbers, how to manage labor, how to manage everything going on. Again, more things I don't know if you if you learn in school, but understanding like where you can play with labor. Like, yes, we may have run one hour at 70% labor, but if you average that throughout the week, what is that really? Um, and then knowing where you can do all that, setting the pars, doing my orders. Um, you know, Connor did a great job with me, just kind of teaching me how to run a business. Um, and now I think he owns part of it. So just going through, I feel like doing it, making those connections with actual people, the people that have been doing it, as opposed to someone that went to school to teach it. What do you, um, I like, yeah, you know, brings up a good question. What do you, what's your best advice for the people who struggle to find the balance between being, being friends? I mean, you gotta, you have to have people to want to work for you. You know, you can't be a dick that that balance is very tough, but what's your advice on, on finding that, um, you know, that balance between sure we can be, we can be friends because you know, you like, you know, a lot of people on the left side are like, I'm your boss. That's right. it. And then you have people over here who can't put their foot down and they cannot lead right. or and manage it, their peers. It, it comes to saying that expectation at the beginning. It really is. Like, yes, I, I'm not like best friends with my employees, but like I'm friendly with them. I, I understand them. I want to know, like, you know, I want to know what's going on at home. I want to know what's what 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 drives you, why you come to work, because well, we're we're all here. We're all spending a whole lot of time together. I'm not right. gonna just oh do A, B, C, and D because I said because people don't work for that. Um you, you need to to lead from the front, have people follow you as opposed to pushing them. And what I found is just be a human, you know? Like you're gonna naturally make those connections with people, but also setting that standard, knowing that hey, when it's when it's go time. I'm your boss. I'm not going to say please. Um, and that's kind of what I did is I, I made it very day and night. It's, you know, when, when we're chill, when we're cleaning up things, let's hang out, let's talk, let's learn recipes. Let's, you know, what's, what's going on in life. And then when we get busy, when it's time to go, it's, we need to do this now. Time to go. It's yeah. time to go. It's time to go. It's, it's game time. And um, that's what I feel like um connor did really great is yeah he he was friends with his employees i'm still friends with connor um but knowing that game time is game time and he was very very particular like hey when it's time to go it's time to go i like that i like that i mean it's it's always good to hear other other advices on this too because i don't care if you're the you know yeah if you've been in the game 30 years sure i'm sure you have it down to a pretty good t you've seen 30,000 different faces coming out of your, your door and different employees. So it's, um, but I mean, I struggle with it too. Sometimes, you know, you have, you have the the people who, who they think like, Oh, well, you know, he's got my back or, Oh, well, we're actually right here. So I, you know, they think that level of uh, friendship versus superior mm-hmm. are, are different and they, they kind of run together. So I like to hear, um, cause it's just, it's a constant battle, especially with, the you know in our industry we're working right alongside you know our fellow our fellow peers you know our age differential is not that great i think i do better managing actual grown-ups one they do their job typically adults, oh, yeah. um, versus the 21 22 year old cat who uh, is just starting their life per se so. right and they're the ones usually going to school trying to figure it out and and i feel like I'm not saying that everyone's like this, but if you go to school to do something, I feel like you're a little more entitled. Like, oh, I went to school for this. I'm better than you with this. And I, and I actually found that with um, a couple of the guys I, I, I did interviews with at, at the clubs. They're like, oh, yeah, I went to sound guy school. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be great at this. I'm like, all right, here's a, let's do a working interview. Um, I said I wasn't going to talk about this today, so you, <laughs> but we're going to talk about it because it's actually right. I feel it's actually very important to the show. Um, right. Is these guys they would go to school? And they're like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be great. I'm going to run the show. I'm like, all right, how many how many shows have you actually run? They're like, none. Okay, so what experience do you have? You know, just labs in school. Okay, um, well, let's let's run the show, and I would run like the easiest show you can do, like a punk show. 
they're loud. They're, there's not much you can do really. Just put some mics, make them feel good. Um, kind of try to set, <laughs> let it turn the mic, the the audio all the way up, and make sure you're getting through the to the next 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 guys and these they had no idea there was deers and headlights they're like oh what do i do how do i run these cables i'm like you said you you said you had this i just let them crash and burn they Did freak you? out they would just overthink everything i'm like well oh, if you just preset your channels and then you just move this and then you backline everything and you get it going like it's not hard it's a punk show like we're not doing anything big here freak out but then the guys are like yeah no i i even the garage bands, like, you know, I, I, I ran sound for, for a few bands that were just like kind of touring around. I was their sound guy and I was kind of fiddling with it. They were way better than the guys because they also had ears for it and you can't teach an ear. Um, and I feel like the guys that went to school for it, they wanted for all the robberies. They wanted it. They wanted it for the glory. They, they wanted right. because to be a part of touring to be, and to be part of touring and do that. And like, I'm like, no, it's not like you did it because you love it. Like I like, I love music. I wanted to, play with lights. I want to throw these huge experiences, make these crazy shows because they were fun. And those guys are like, yeah, I know. I just kind of went around with these small bands. They like, they had it down, like they had an ear for it. They knew how to mix because they listened, they cared and they, they learned by doing it as opposed to someone who went to school to teach it. Like, you know, what, how, what life experience do you have? You can't teach an ear. Like, yeah, you can teach some of the technical aspects of doing it, but how many like labs actually did you run a show? Did you, right were you in the weeds because well your opening guy got there 10 minutes before you're supposed to go on and now you got a line check at the same time you're doing it and that comes with like what we do in the restaurants is well you can't really teach getting in the weeds you can't teach that right chucky e. cheeses of of tickets you know you gotta live it the so i don't know that's kind of my thought is you know, I, I'm glad that I got kicked out of college. I'm glad that I got to just do it with people that were better than me. And that's something that um, I think my dad says a lot is surround yourself with people better than you to become better because there's always someone better than you and you might as well learn from them um, right. as opposed to sitting in the classroom, not really caring about what you're learning. But if you're doing it, you're actually trying to be a part of it. You know, that's, that's what, that's what I like. It's what I like. No, I dig that for sure. Do you think that, there's a, would you prefer to have some more hands-on experience guy versus do you think the people who go to school, do you think there's any out there who, you know, they, they do really enjoy? I mean, to me, you're going to have, if you're that guy who went to school for X, Y, or Z versus the, the guy who's had the experience. I mean, there's going to be a little bit of, you know, those people who in the school need, need little, chance i guess oh, yeah. too do you think that um you just notice who has it like who well, like if they have the love for oh yeah put- and it's way easier because even the guys like i'm not like totally just kind of school but the guys that like go to school that are good at it have also done it like they started doing it and then they're like oh i'm gonna go to school to do it better but right. they've, okay. they've also done it so that's kind of like if you can and you want to like like my schooling is usually youtube like just kind of seeing how, how bloggers deal with things. Um, when I was building a computer, watched Linus tech tips. When I was doing my, 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 um, my painting, I watched Miniac. Um, so yeah, like schooling is obviously important. You need to learn from somebody, but it's that, um, that extra stuff, that, that math, the things you don't need is kind of what oh, yeah. bugs Agreed. me. And For sure. Get rid of that and do more experience, like go out and, and figure out shadow a restaurant, um, go work a week, actually tech, like, yes, do you do student teaching as a teacher? Um, which is, which is probably the best part for of sure. that school is the student teaching. Cause you're actually teaching, you're actually making those lessons plans. You're dealing with students, you're dealing with all that. Um, right. so I feel like that makes sense, but like, I don't know what, what, what did you graduate with? Like, I don't remember how you, what you graduated, you graduated with, with uh, health and, uh, health and human performance. So I was in, teaching and coaching for the longest time but like i said i just realized that was not it just didn't fulfill me um yeah it just didn't fulfill me i was sitting i just remember sitting sitting in class one day great teacher loved him he was super super cool but i was like this is lame man this is not this is not where where i see myself i loved love wrestling and i would probably still to this day if i could land a nice small maybe community college or junior college, that's where I would want to be. And I, I would still probably pursue that, but it just wasn't, 
it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And I think a lot of that is the personal experience with the, with the kids. I imagine, I mean, getting someone to care about PE is, it's you know, even geez. I didn't care about PE half the time. Right. You know what I care I about? Love PE? Dodgeball. I love it. I love yeah, dodgeball. 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 I love, love it. I, I love it. Dodgeball. Vicious. I saw blood. Right. Poor so, boy or girl with the glasses on. I was, I'm trying to dome you. That's fair. I mean, it happens. It's, it's, it's dog eat dog out there. So, I mean, that's, yeah. that's kind of my, like, I'm not trying to like kill school, but like, you gotta, you gotta supplement it. You gotta get out there and do it. School's sure. not, not the whole answer. Um, to me, it's not going to teach you how to, how to lead. It's not going to teach you how to manage. It's not going to teach you how to deal with all these, these issues that happen, you know? And I found out like now, I mean, growing and growing up, I'm like, wow, that's, I wouldn't be where I am without the, the people that showed me how to do it as opposed to sitting in a classroom. So for sure, especially with like hospitality management, besides really maybe that school or that program helping you land the job, I think that's maybe a bigger picture of moving through a hospitality management. You make those connections a little easier than, then I guess if you were just to go out and get the job, you could go out and get the same job, but maybe because you, a lot of it's just simply being able to say, I have this BS and, or, you know, this bachelor's in business, economics, teaching and coaching or um, hospitality management. But I completely, I just think that it helps you navigate maybe those waters a little better. Um, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's the only way to do it either. I mean, if you land in a good gig and you're who you are, you're going to move up just the same. I, you know, I don't even know what I'm saying right now or why I'm saying it. It's all right. No, I get it. It's, it's connections. And honestly, like me moving up was connections. I started the clubs cause my dad knew, knew Jesse. And then I moved to, to Culver's because Tina's sister worked there. And then I had that background, that experience. And then I honestly feel like I got the job now because that working interview, honestly, like I, I, enjoy a working interview for that reason is because you actually get to see someone do what they're doing as opposed to just sitting right. down and talking to them. And honestly, I feel like I am managing where I am because of that working interview. Yeah. They could see that, you know, they see the passion right there versus sitting across from an interview and then telling you everything you right. want. Everything on that piece of paper. I went to this college. I did this. I studied this as opposed to, Here's me in action. Like, here I am. This is me right. at my best. Right. Take it or leave it. This is what I got for you. This is right. what I can offer at this very point. Right. And obviously that that was uh that was enough for them. Right. Know? And and I, I dig it, you know. I like where I'm at. Got to meet you, you know, we're hanging for out. Sure. So that's <laughs> kind of the, the, the short version on on uh on me and uh kind of my my girl if you want to ask more questions you know email us and all that good stuff but uh you know Noah, this is kind of my episode what's your uh what's your server tip of the week oh i wanted to tie it in more so to the no school no problem but um my skill with kindness i i've said it before it's very easy for a table to to kind of get in your head per se, but if you go out there and focus on doing what you do best, not caring how they, if they talk to you, if they responded to you fast enough, because you know, you, you get worked up to a point, and especially in, in the industry, you cut, it's a lot of ebbs and flows, ebbs and flows. You make a hundred dollars right now, you just made 27 on a, on a lunch shift. It's a lot of ebbs and flows. And I think it's very important to stick to your mental, focus on what you do great and those people who you cannot connect with or you don't feel that you are really I, I remember walking away from the table, I'm like, man, that shit was weird. That was just that was weird. That was all that, all that was weird. And I've also walked up to a table and I say this jokingly, but I also do it a lot and I say it to people because, you know, you you walk up to a table and you're vibing really well. And I always turn I used to turn around to all the servers. I'm like, did you guys see that? I felt like I was levitating there at the table. <laughs> and they're like, you're a scrub. But um Kill them with kindness, stick to your mental, do what you do best and make sure that no one, I think in life in general, is able to throw you out of your path and where you're headed and just uh, you know, keep your nose down and bury through kill them with kindness. Man, I love, I love that when you have the, the angry guests, you know, oh, yes, sir. No, sir. Of course. My apologies. Let, let me grab that for you. Get back. Sir, is there anything else I can do to make this 
uh, just a little bit better for you. You know, and they're just like, especially if they are giving you the shade, the the shit that they want to give you. And you're just like, I love you. I love you. I love you. See that? I'm talking, I love you. And they're just like, well, this sucks. I can't even really, they're not getting that fire, fire right. that they want. Um, so yeah, mine just killed with kindness. I really love the industry. And I think that um, it's very easy to, like I said, the ebbs and flows are, are huge. Just stay, stay with the peaks. Remember the feelings you have on your peaks. And when you're in the valleys, just, you know, grab the shovel and, and work out per se. Thank you. That's mine. I dig it. I dig it. We're, we're, I'll, I'll do mine next week. You know, we're gonna next week. We're gonna talk about um, Noah going to college, things he learned, maybe things, things I learned, learned were not a lot about my <laughs> my career. That's for sure. But Man, which I feel excited. bad because I was hoping that it would. So we do like this little bouncing act. But I feel like it's it's kind of going towards more one side by accident. I didn't I didn't mean for it to happen this way. No, it's a, it's good, man. I think it's it's important for for young people to school's not for everyone. It's not, not for everyone. It's really not. And a lot of people, myself included, I'm a hands-on, hands-on guy. I want to feel it. I want to touch it. I want to do it. I am not one that can read it and remember it. It's just, that's not me. I'm a very tactile person. And I, so, no, I don't think, I'm not going to bash school. I think it's super important. And I think the career field in which you choose is a lot more necessary to pursue that. And it's not, you know, oh, not just necessary, but it's absolutely necessary is a good word it's required that yes. you know doctors uh, can't be doctors <laughs> right i'll give you that doctors nurses people that deal with like medical thing go to school you can't just support that go that's very important but like uh, yeah go to school if you're gonna be a doctor but uh you know close now you know find us on all your uh, podcast apps all your favorite ones um every show is now on youtube um we got equalized for the first time don't have videos but uh you know we're gonna be doing videos from now on subscribe so you know, every time we drop um, email us at lifeinsightcast at gmail.com Facebook, Instagram, all that good stuff let us know uh, what you think and again, shout out to that guy in France I don't know why, I just shout out to you it's cool, it's cool enough you are I think we had some, some Deutsche the Deutsche Abba I don't know, that's some German no, that's, that's German. That's there. Uh, no, the Deutsche Land, there you go Right, we had some in Germany. Yeah, we had a couple. Yeah, You're, but I don't know. they're not they're not as compassionate. Like I feel like this dude has, has watched every episode. Like so, shout out to you. For sure. uh, yeah. So signing off on Pax. All right, all the love. Catch you next time, guys. Bye.